Sharon Lochran, N2 candidate for the new EDEA. Do you want to tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, thanks Paul. Well, it's Sharon Lochran. I'm a paediatric nurse. In, uh, I work in A&E in Daisy Hill at the minute. I'm originally from Newry, um, but did a lot of travelling. Uh, I worked in Saudi and I, wa I worked in London for a while and then came back, was in the pharmaceutical industry for 18 years and came back to nursing approximately 10 years ago. So I'm back in Daisy Hill now and uh, that's it about me. Uh, Sharon, one of the things that has arisen, arisen with the Council over the last few years is it's about accountability and openness and transparency. Where do you and your party stand if you're a successful candidate? Well, I think um, looking back on the history of the Council, especially in the last few years recently, the, oh, there's been an insidious erosion of that uh, transparency. So I don't think we're seeing what's really happening. Um, the Council have uh, recently sold up the council offices and are now I know that there's planning in for behind the cathedral and for what already is happening in Hill Street uh, I'm not sure that that's such a good idea we there's going to take up all the parking space so it's going to affect the businesses in Hill Street it's also going to affect the cathedral and people wanting to go to mass and um, where are they going to park so uh, there hasn't been what we have seen any transparency in what they're doing uh, and that has gradually eroded. There's a, an insidious difference in what's happening. I don't think that people in Newry know exactly what's going on and I think we need needs to be investigated more. One of the big issues is uh, park or council offices. I know you've just touched on it but where do your party stand? It's definitely going to be park. I have four dogs <laughs> so, so for definite it's going to be park. I think that um, looking at, just going back at the council offices, the, the recent spend was going to be 14.6 million on offices, when we should be looking at investing money for peop the people of Newry and for them to be able to enjoy a park. This is a city. We don't have a park. I mean, that to me is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the Green Albert Basin is right beside the Greenway. That would um, increase business, you know, the, increase the investment in businesses. Look at Newry Keys, you know, it's getting very sleepy looking. If we had a park there, there would be more, more business to be got across the road. There would be places for families to take their kids. There would be cross-border, you could look at cross-border activities between here. This is Carlingford Lock, so there would be lots of opportunities for businesses and for the people of Newry to go, for somewhere to walk, to relax, to wind down. So definitely for me it would be a park. I don't, you know, the advantage of it is, is uh, you know, you can't, you can't even, it's immeasurable. Well, if you're successful, what would you do, park aside, to improve uh, Newry City? Um, the other things that we would look at would be, if you look at housing, if you look at rates, I think we need to look at the councils and why the rates have been put up in some areas to almost 8%. Um, there's a major shortfall in housing. Why can't we look at inner city housing? Why can't we look at some of the buildings in Hill Street and use what's not being used and in, you know, invest in inner city housing? That's not unusual for any city. And it would be more environmentally friendly. Um, my big uh, bugbear is going to be Daisy Hill. I want, you know, having worked there and still work there, I want to look at why there's a, an erosion of services there. Um, the transparency there is becoming less and less and more and more opaque. We're not getting answers to why they're removing services. The model they took for centralising services is uh, from the south of England. So that's apples versus oranges. That doesn't reflect on what Northern Ireland needs and we need a local hospital, we need an acute and vibrant hospital where, where we can take patients and children especially. Uh, we've also looked at, recently I've heard that some of the shorts, some of the services in paediatrics is being cut back. Um, they're asking, they've been asked to take children to A&E rather than to take them to the short stay paediatric unit, which effectively is a shortcut which would bypass a &E, which would take some of the pressure off a and &E. um, Presently, we have approximately 180 patients going through a and &E a day. That's nearly 1,400 a week. Craigavon can't cope 
from what I've heard, there was a 13-hour waiting list in Craig Avon last weekend. So uh, you add another 180 patients a day onto that. Uh, how are the services going to cope? This is leaving us with unsafe services. This is unsafe for patients. And I can't, I can't enthuse about this any more than I'm saying how uh, critical it is that we keep the services open and that we become more aware. This is not a done deal. You know, people that I've spoken to when I'm canvassing are saying, what can we do? They feel powerless. I think we need to be aware that we have a voice and that's where I want to, uh, I want to push things that we can change the services that we're, that we're losing and we can get some of those services back. And finally, in the forthcoming local election, why should people vote for Sharon Lochran and Ain2? Because of my passion for wanting justice, because economic justice as well as keeping our critical services open, I feel very passionate about that. It wasn't my in my CV to do this, but because of the passion I have for it. I think for a and two, we need to vote. If we want things to change, we have nothing changes if nothing changes. So we need to change our vote. We need to vote for a and two. To, to make sure that what we want is going to happen and the only thing we can do we can the only way we can do that is to is to vote for him too so on Thursday May 18th vote for Sharon Lochran or give me first preference and if not second or third thank you